Hey guys, if you use an Android and happen to root it, then you most likely use Magis to get the job done. And within the Magis Manager app, you can download and install systemless modifications, also known as modules to tweak various parts of your UI or third-party apps. Well, just a few days ago, the developer of Magis known as John Wu released a new Canary build for the Magis Manager app, which has a new drastic design with plenty of new animations and transitions, so I thought I'd show it off on camera. So when you first open up the app, there's a lot to take in. You no longer have a slide out menu, the homepage looks drastically different, and every object has a rounded card behind it. The homepage displays some of your phone's information. You can still check to see if there's an update from Magisk or the Manager app, and if there is an update, you can install it within the app. There's also a support panel if you'd like to donate to the developers, and even though the bottom toolbar hides it, there's an uninstall button. The safety net check is no longer on the homepage, instead it's on a whole new page called Super User. Here you can have the safety net check, the Magisk Hide feature, which basically lets you stop selected apps from knowing that you're rooted, perfect for any bank apps, and every app that you grant root access will appear on this page. Tapping on them will deny it. There's also a little bug icon in the top right corner that brings up the logs, which you can save or delete. The last page includes all of the modules that you can download, install, update, or remove. You can also quickly install a mod from your storage. The little folder icon next to each module brings up the description from its GitHub page. There's a filter icon for the search engine. And the icon in the top right corner of the screen is to check if there are any updates for your installed mods. A neat little feature that the developer threw in is that you can pinch in or out to compress or expand the cards so you can see more of them at once. Within the settings of the app, you can change the overall theme to different colors. It has an AMOLED dark mode and it can follow your phone system theme as well. It also has all the same settings as before, they're just displayed differently. That's pretty much everything within this update. It's not the final release. There's still a lot of things that need to be fixed, such as the uninstall key not being visible on the home screen. It would also be nice just to swipe left or right to switch between each screen. And the three item column just looks extremely weird in the modules page. Either way, that's a quick look at the new Material Design 2.0 update for the Magis Manager app. I'll drop a link in the description if you're interested in checking out this update. Make sure to drop a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Get subscribed with the notification bell turned on if you haven't already. Check out How To Men In Espanol If You're Latino to see all of my videos translated in Spanish. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!